Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we're going to show you how to take control of your Divi Gallery module today. We, you may have noticed I've got three columns here. The default for the Divi Gallery module is four. If I show you it on a tablet, and let's put my responsive toggle on. Here it is on a phone. I've got two columns on my phone. Of course, the light box and everything is still going to work on there. And if we look on an iPad, I've got four columns. Now this is really easy to do. Let's get rid of my inspector tools. We've got to write a couple of little lines of code for this today. But as usual, I'll put any code I write down below the video. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down and I'll delete the row that this gallery module's in. We'll start from scratch. So I've got a regular section here. I'm going to add a row. I'm going to make my row a single column. And funnily enough, inside I'm going to put a gallery module. And we're just using the standard Divi gallery module here today. When it pops up, it's going to prompt you to add some images. It sort of throws a few random ones in there for you. Hit the little plus sign and select the images that you want. I'm going to select the first one and let's go all the way up to here. Hit my space key so it selects all of them. And perhaps one more because I think I've got an odd number there. I'm going to pop those in. And like any gallery module, if you need to move these, you just simply left click on them, pull them to where you want them and release and it'll drop them in there. And each one's got a little trash can icon. You can delete it if you need to. Great. Well, as you can see, by default, it just puts in four. If we roll down just a little bit, we've got image order default, image count four. I think I put about 20 in there. So let's add 20 to mine. That's great. And as you can see, it's got some titles underneath. I really don't need that. And you might have noticed I've got all these from pexels.com, which is a great free stock photo site for anybody that needs one. I'm going to go down to my elements. I'm going to turn off the titles. I don't need any pagination because I'm showing all of my images. If you've got more than the amount that you've got showing, leave your pagination on so they can get to them. And here we have it. Here's the default TV sort of grid layout for the gallery, which is fine. Four little columns there. And of course, we've got our hover effect and light box and things like that. And uh, you may decide though that it doesn't work for you. Perhaps you might want three columns on desktop so that the images are bigger. We can do that really easy. Let's go over to our advanced and this is where we've got to write a little bit of code. I'm going to go down to my custom CSS panel. I'm going to roll on down to the gallery item. And let's just presume that perhaps we want three. So what we've got to think about is the width of our container that the gallery is in and each of these items. So if I want three, I've got to make them take up a third of the space each. At the moment, they're taking up a quarter, including the gap there. So let's say width. And I'll say 33 and a third, which is a third, isn't it? 33.33%, which should be a third. Nothing's happened, so we'll have to force it or override some styles. And we do that with the important, so it's exclamation mark and the word important. And you may have seen some changes there, and we've got two columns instead of three. Now, the reason that is, we've made each of these a third, but we've also got a bit of gap or margin, actually, on the right and probably the bottom there which is accounting for another bit of percentage. So if we want that three with the gap, we've got to take that percentage down. Let's try 30. I don't know if that'll be enough with this gap. Maybe even less than that. 25. And we got a third with that. That's not really what I want. Let's put it back to 33 and a third or 33. And what we can do, let's put a semicolon because we've got to add another line of code. We can get rid of that margin. We'll say margin. 
zero. And again, we'll use that important. I'll just copy it from up here, control C. And that way we've got three in a row. They're taking up thirds there, but we've got kind of weird spaces there. And that's probably a clear fix issue or a float issue. So let's clear that. I'm going to say clear. None. And again, it's not working. So we need to put the important again. And I've got it in my clipboard. So I'm going to just paste it in there. Now we've got our gallery of three, which is fantastic. It looks wonderful if you want them all butted up against each other like that. Now, if you want a gap, we can put a margin in, but we'll have to adjust our width slightly to take account of the margin. So I'm going to delete the zero. I'm going to say maybe let's put five pixels in there. And that's added a nice little gap for me. I, I like that gap anyway, all around. But of course, it doesn't fit with our three. So let's take this down. Let's try 31 maybe. And that's given it enough space to fit the whole three in there, including the margin. That's great. That works for me on desktop. Now, because we've adjusted it and three of these is not quite going to add up to 100%. It's going to be hard to see, I should think. If you're worried about it not being totally central, go over to design and we can roll down to sizing and module alignment. Let's pop it in the middle there. That way it should stay in the middle. OK, well, let's go back to our code now and let's adjust it for our tablet mode. Again, I'm going down to custom CSS to where we left off. Now, common to all Divi modules, if you go into a module and roll over the dark writing in there, you'll see some little icons appear to the right. If there's a little mobile phone type icon, we can click on it and set a different CSS code for each device. So let's copy this code. Control C to copy. I'll go to tablet mode. And we've got three on there, which is OK. I think that's the default actually for the gallery on tablet. But perhaps I might want four on my tablet. So let's paste the code in here that we just copied. Control V to paste. Now, if you want four in there, it's going to be 25%. But again, we've got that little margin in between, unless, of course, you want them butted up against each other. So with that code, let's change it to 25. That would be quarters. But again, it's not quite enough, is it? So let's maybe try 23. There we go. That fits perfectly. Could try 24. Obviously, we want to get it as tight as we can. No, it's got to be 23. Great. So we've got our four columns on tablet now. Again, let's copy this. Control C, and we'll move on to our phone. And we got three there, but it doesn't really look right to me. And it's sort of offset to the side there. I think I'd like two columns on mine. So again, we'll paste our code in here. We'll change this to 50%, which is not going to be enough because of the padding. Let's take it back down to maybe 47. Try that. Nope, still not enough. What about 46? Yeah, that works absolutely perfectly. Fantastic. So we've got two on phone. We've got four on our tablet. And we've got three on our desktop. And if you decide you want different breakpoints, you can do that in your custom CSS, additional CSS panel and add additional breakpoints with media queries in there. But I'm happy with the way this is displaying and I'll put this code down below. So let's save this and make sure it's going to work on the front end. A little purple button. Save draft or publish if you're ready. Let's exit the Visual Builder. And here we go on desktop and we've got a little light box effect. It'll work. And let's have a look on tablet. Bring up my inspector tools. There it is on iPad Air. Let's just make that 100% so you can see it better. We've got our four columns there. And of course, our light box effects is still going to work on the, the tablet. And on a mobile, we should have two. Let's go down iPhone 12. 
there it is on an iPhone 12 let's make it a bit bigger we've got our little two columns and again it's going to work with the light box effects or whatever you've got it set to do so there you go guys there's how to own your gallery and take control of it and set it to have the columns that you want it to have on various different devices so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful and I hope the code makes sense to you so you can figure it out so you can adjust things the way you want them don't forget if you have any questions drop them down below the video I'll do my best to answer them or make a video demo for you once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day.